Hello. So a lot of people have been asking me about this is like people want to know the way to set your uh, teams uh, for the event for next next week. Like how what level should you set the boss at? Right. So we're going to talk about that now. So you when you set the boss, you can set it to uh, like I said, so my guild, we're really close to being the 140 boss, only 2 million damage left. Like I said, there's still about a day left, about 60 hours left. So we'll see. So I think there might be a couple players who still have a chance. So, um, but uh, yeah, so we're probably going to beat the 140 boss, but uh, I know we can, like if for whatever reason we do come up short, I know we can beat the 140 boss. So I'm like, I don't see a reason to start lower. And the reason for that is like, so when you look at the loot here, right, what do you see on the victory rewards? Right, so it's 46,000 mana uh, to be the next boss, plus these crystals. Right, these are random. Well, these are all, these crystals are random. These just show you what I actually end up getting on my randoms. But, um, so this is the total loot you get from a 140 boss. So when you set the event, you actually see a different number. Do you, what's right? So when you're looking at it, you're like looking at the difficulty. You're looking at the loot possibility. You're like, wait, why is the boss given 135,000 mana here? And that's because when you beat the 140 boss, like, so when you beat a boss for the first time, like, so if the boss starts at 140, when you beat the 140 boss, all of this loot here, like all these previous, like, so you'll get this one, but then you'll get all the ones before it. And that's where you, that, that, uh, number comes from. It's the cumulative number of all of these. So 65 through 140. So, right. It don't really matter what level you start on. The rewards for the boss are going to be identical, whether you start level 65 or level 140. Uh, if the only you can, if as far as you get is level 140 on the boss, the rewards for the boss part are going to be the same. Um, the mid what changes though is that you get to dip uh, minions. So the minions, uh, like you have the other section which is minions. So on the 140 event, the minions give 69,000 mana, 282 random crystals, 202 vibrant crystals, uh, 146 uh, radiant uh, crystals, and then 85 and 75 uh, insignias. Um, so if you go, but if you go down to 130 and look at the things, that's quite a bit less rewards, like 10 less of each insignia, quite a few less crystals, quite a bit less mana. Right. So the biggest difference is uh, between the minion uh, rewards, and uh, like I said, if you're, you know, it's like such so you want to be uh, focused on the minions. Yes, if you go with the lower ones, it is easier to do to get higher in the Hall of Fame and get these these things here for the guild or whatever. Like there are higher rewards if you get higher in the guild, but I mean, look at this, like the 11 through 20 are identical and then 21, like it's only one lower. So it's like, unless you can, unless starting at 65, your guild can go all the way to the top or something. I, mean, I don't see, like, I don't see these rewards are as being good enough uh, to, as justification to go with a lower boss so you can get more damage. I mean, unless you like to brag for the sake of it, but I think that hurts your guild because you're going to get, I think, less rewards overall. Because those mini rewards are, like I said, that's a much more rewards you're giving up uh, that way. So, yes, one concern might be, like, if you do it with the higher minions, can your can all your guildmates beat them? Because some of the lines have uh, three min, you have need three teams to beat the minions, right? But uh, of all the minion nodes, there was only two that had three teams set up. So every, all the rest of the minion nodes are one or two teams required. So even worst case scenario... Your your guild mates are going to be able to beat uh, seven to nine in those nodes, and that's probably going to give you, like I said, comparable. If you're only being seven nine rewards on this versus uh, all nine on this one, you're probably still getting about the same amount of rewards. But remember, only a few people will struggle with that, and I think overall your guild's going to be better off just doing the higher level one. And uh, you also like the guild morale, right? Like the guild morale is also tied to the enemies you beat. The higher level minions you fight, the more guild morale you get. So this is also going to help you do more damage uh, to the boss. Uh, the one last concern people have is that if you go with a higher level boss, that is harder to get the personal damage rewards. And that is probably true. But see, here's the thing. Look at the rewards. Almost all the rewards are pretty low. Like right here is like 2.5. Like I said, so if you could get 2.25 million, which... Pretty much anybody in a high level guild should be able to get this one, even against the highest level boss. Like, yo, know, like, can get this far. Like, yeah, you missed these last two tiers, but that's like, okay, cool. You get one of every crystal, one of, like, that's not a lot. And then you get to see. I mean, it's just, this is not, I don't think this is worth worrying about because uh, you can get, you'll get a lot more. Because you, you'll get, you'll get more than this right here from the higher level minions. Yeah, you might miss out on a seed, but. 
You get more seeds for the higher level boss. Like I said, if you can beat the higher level bosses, though, you get more seeds. So, like, if you start at 65, can only get to 140, uh, you'll get less rewards than if you start at 140 and get through level 140 and level 150 boss. So, yeah, I think you're just better off starting at the highest level of boss you can beat. If you can be a level 140 boss, you should just set the event to level 140. If you got to level 140 boss, but you really got stuck, you couldn't get that far in. And like I said, we only need, we only need two, 2 million more damage. So, pretty much... You know, any team that attacks them, like, can probably just finish them off. So, like I said, so I, I'm have, I feel confident my guild will be the level 140 boss next uh, next event. But uh, if you were got to level 140 and then it was like a brick wall for you, you might want to just set it at level 130. Because uh, you know you could beat a level 130 boss, but you're not quite sure at level 140. So you'd want to set it at 130 and then just hit select and now you're set there for that. Boom. So you have, like I said, as far as I know, you have, uh, say, so 16 hours to... Um, to set it so it's like so it resets the same time so this ends an hour before uh the guild day ends today like this the the actual event and then you still have one more hour after that to reset it so if you like wanted to wait to saw see like like if you're like want to wait till the very last moment that gives you an hour between like everybody in the guild having a chance to do their themes so yeah but uh, I just recommend going high as high as your guild can take. Like, you know, go high as your guild can take. Like, if your guild can take a level 140 boss, you should set it at level 140. If your guild, like said, but if your guild got stuck at level 140, but you know you can take 130, set it at 130 boss. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much just how that event works. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video informative. Thank you for watching.